Hello. Well, it's been a week or two since we did any video. Uh, we went on a canoe trip last week, and uh, that was a lot of fun down the Current River down in southern Missouri. So didn't get much boat building done, and then had to come home and catch up with mowing the lawn and those sorts of things. I have been doing a little bit of work here and there. We got um, got some framing in in the hatch door here to uh, hold the door. I got little pieces of oak that we measured out and, and screwed down. Uh, we had done the ones up front for the forward hatches. And then I took a couple of pieces of mahogany that I had and uh, uh, put this together. I, I glued this up. I had to I ran a couple of dowels, three through the center of it and glued it up. And this started out at about uh, three quarter inch thick. Uh, my, and when I glued it up, I, my holes weren't aligned. The drill holes weren't aligned. So when I glued it up, I was off just a little bit. It had a little ridge on it. So I've been running it through the planer and uh, got it nice and smooth. And I think now we're down to about five eighths as opposed to three quarters, which is fine. Um, and so anyway, so now I've got it to where it, it fits in here for my after hatch door. And um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'll talk about this, this after deck beam for a second. Um, I strayed from the plans with this because uh, I just felt like it needed to be beefed up. I wanted something pretty healthy as far as a, a, a deck beam back here because if I want to sit on this deck back back deck I, I don't want to worry about it and um, so anyway but a problem with that is that then this was so thick that it was uh, impinging on the on the size of this this height of this hatch door the plan calls for this to be uh, I believe 11 by 20 and even as I am now, I'm about 10 and a half by 20. So anyway, I, I had this deck beam already going. I thought, I'm, I'm going to have to cut that out to make this hatch door bigger. But then when I did, I thought, man, that just, I don't know, it looks a little funny. And I just wasn't, you just press on. You just keep going. And, if, you know, worst case scenario, I just rip the whole thing out and redo it. Which is an important lesson, really, and I try to keep that in mind most of the time when I'm doing this work, because nothing's not fixable, generally. So, anyway, I'd cut this out to, to give myself some more height. So now that I've got the, the door ready to go, I've marked on here which is the top. Top, port, starboard. Okay. So it goes like that. So anyway, I've ordered, <clears throat> uh, I think what I'm going to do is put a hinge on the bottom of here, put a hinge on here so that it can just fold down like that, and then close like that, and then I've got a latch ordered um, to, to keep it closed. But being that I've got this, this difference, this latch, I couldn't figure out what to do. So I got to thinking about it, and I thought, I'm going to get a piece of oak and make another piece that will just fit on the door, goes up in there and now I got a place where I can put that latch on. So that should hold that and it should be good. This uh, by the way is, is a piece of oak that I fashioned out of the tree that we cut down when we very first started. I still have some lumber from that and uh, there's a certain satisfaction in using some of this wood that came from the farm here. So Anyway, that's kind of what I'm up to at the moment. <clears throat> I'm thinking to put a little bit of trim on on the sides as well. Maybe uh, see my try my hand with the router and see if I can come up with something that's a little bit of a, a trim piece for that. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try to fashion that onto the door, and then I'll have a way to attach the latch and be able to have a door that opens and closes. And uh, anyway, speaking of hardware. I got uh, pretty much my first piece in the mail uh, this week. Got it on eBay. I've been shocked by the price of, of bronze, uh, marine hardware, cleats, and that sort of thing. And really seriously considered maybe just going with stainless steel. It's, lot, it's much less expensive. But I've got so much time and energy and money involved 
in building this boat that uh, the, the hardware is not a place to cheap out. I'm just going to accumulate it slowly, just like I've spent money building this boat all along. Part of the beauty of a, of a three-year build is that I haven't really felt the expense that much because I just buy more materials as I need them and uh, the costs have been wildly spread out and I can continue to do that. I'm a ways away from needing all the hardware but I did get the, I did get the forward mooring cleat and uh, I got an antique Hershoff uh, cleat and I'll stop the video and, and uh, we'll take a couple of pictures of it. Here's the cleat that I was talking about. It's uh, I believe six and five eighths long and uh, bronze and in the, in the Hershoff style. It's got four mounting holes. It's pretty heavy. I, I need to clean it up somehow. Um, this is the backing plate that uh, is under the deck. And quite honestly, this is a piece out of that same, same oak tree. Um, so once the deck's on top of this, that gives it a, a place. And I think I'm probably going to bolt it all the way through. Um, we'll see how long my arms are to reach through the, the hatch there um, when I go to put this on. But uh, anyway, real happy to get this. Real happy to get this. I use this table saw as a workbench all the time. I'm going with the one, one and a quarter inch wood screws, number eights. And actually, I think I've got a number six countersink bit on here, but it's working. So the only thing is, you got to drill down deep enough um, in there because that that last part's oak, and if, if you don't have a countersink hole in there, it'll just pop the head off the screw and break it off right down in the middle. So I adjusted the, the uh, countersink. This will slide up and down on the bit. I had, it, it's got a little Allen wrench here that you just adjust it with. And I've got that adjusted so that, well, that actually looks like it's short. In fact, I'm going to adjust that. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why. One and a half. I just want the one and a quarter. Oh, here they are. Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I noticed that before it was... A problem. All right, so yeah, see that's better. So I've got just maybe a sixteenth of an inch at the end of the drill bit, uh, longer than the, the the screw is. Whew, that was narrowly avoided disaster. I'm just going to run two more in here, and I think that'll be plenty to hold it. Tell me that didn't go through. No. Good. Got these little Makitas. I saw some guys using these at the wooden boat show in, um, in Mystic, Connecticut. And uh, I got to use one there. I loved it. First time it did that, I was like, what's the matter with this thing? Why would it, it doesn't have more torque? It's kind of a fail-safe feature, I guess. Good.
good with that. We got some epoxy put on the uh, mahogany hatch doors last night and uh, got those sealed up and then we can put some varnish on after we get some trim pieces put on. Thanks for watching. See you next time.